what's good youtube it is your girl dr d and i'm back for a short video i am coming on here today as i'm headed to dirty t's podcast shout out to lavina bates and her crew because they invited me and we about to turn up y'all so i'm gonna try to get y'all some behind the scenes footage and some b-roll to see how we are rolling into this i think we're gonna do a few different um, episodes and one i think we definitely gonna touch on today y'all ready y'all ain't ready no nah, y'all ready y'all ready y'all ain't ready and i came up with this topic i should put it on my own podcast you heard me toxic in-laws who got a toxic in-law who got a toxic in-law y'all ain't hearing me who got a toxic in-law i think almost everybody got a toxic in-law or know somebody that is a toxic in-law feel me you feel me listen to this y'all my mouth is so watering for this topic because it's so juicy so juicy i'm heading on over there heading to burbank i'm excited y'all stay tuned i got so much to share with y'all and guess what y'all guess what y'all guess what y'all today is the day where i actually let it out sharing with my ig family i mean most people who close to me already know what's been going down for the past few months but i finally let it out on my platform that i filed for a divorce and that um me and the kids are in our new home and we are um on our new journey living in our dream city so we are excited 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 and um i'm so excited i don't even know what else to say like i'm so happy to be on the other side of this y'all have no idea no idea i learned from all of this that do not spend time with somebody that does not value you do not spend time with somebody who does not see you as someone that matters even if you buried three of their kids and did everything you could for them took good care of them for 19 years it don't even matter after that you know what i'm saying if that person ain't feeling you loving on you supporting you sharing it sharing you with the world allowing no one to disrespect you it's time to move on and y'all hear my voice is coming back a little bit. It's coming back a little bit. I better chill because I got to do this podcast. However, y'all, I just want y'all to know that this journey and this ride is about to get so good. Um, <clears throat> me and the babies are doing amazing as we can. We do fill a void from time to time, but this is the new journey that we know we have to keep moving on to. We're excited about it. We're thriving as much as God is allowing. And that's a good one right there. I'm going to use that as a quote. Thriving as much as God is allowing. And another one, I'm going to say, don't spend your time talking to, talking about anybody that ain't talking about you. You feel me? You feel me? So, y'all, follow me on this journey. I'll get some footage. I'll try to have the people record a few things here and there. I didn't bring my camera today, so this is all, all, all off my phone. <clears throat> and I should be having like a, you know what I need to buy? Probably buy myself this for Christmas. Or like a tripod stand with my, so I can put my phone on it. I feel like I already got that. Like, y'all got so much stuff. And I'm still unpacking, y'all. Still unpacking. Okay? Still unpacking. It's been literally over two months and I'm still unpacking. Ridiculous. But that's what it is when you buy yourself and you're trying to make it happen. And you focus on what's more important. And that's my babies. And y'all, this sickness been going around. Let me just say this. The RSV, whatever the heck it is to be, it's going around, y'all. It's going around. It's killing me. Thank God I ain't got that. But I, I swear my babies got that. I dropped them off at daycare one day. Next day they were sick. Was it the daycare or my babies? Yeah, tell me. And now they getting, they have to stay out the rest of the week because they the ones that see. Are you kidding me? I got stuff to do. I've been so booked trying to get on my grind, trying to make stuff happen as a single mama. Just trying to do it, y'all. I never thought I would be here, but I'm trying to do it. I'm actually not even crying about it no more. I'm not worried about it no more. I'm just doing it and asking God to lead my, lead my steps. He's already put some great people in my in my um, past to, to keep me going. Too excited. Y'all too excited. But um, shout out to Christina Kuzmik. Check her out on YouTube, Instagram, all that. Kat, who's the lovely and beautiful, beautiful connection to me and her. And these women also go to my church, y'all. I'm about to try to do as much as I can within the church family. Try to just be more profound in everything else I can think of to keep my mind going. Because let me tell you, honey, it has been some hard days. Some rough days, y'all. It's been rough. It's been hard. It's been challenging. But guess what? I'm still here. 
I'm still here. Do y'all feel me? And I'm still trying to make stuff happen. I had a TV interview this week. This is my second press this week. I think I got one more to do within the next week. But I'm rocking and I'm rolling and I'm shaking, y'all. I'm starting to talk about now what's been going on. Just anything. I don't know what the other topics we're going to talk about today. But I just wanted to kind of enlighten y'all on that. Let you stay tuned. I'm definitely going to post whenever um, Dirty T's post their stuff. I'm going to post all of that too. But listen, this journey just beginning. I thought we was on a roller coaster already. <laughs> stay tuned to see more, y'all. Stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. So with that said, like, comment, subscribe. Hit try to get my breastfeeding done on point. Okay. Shout out. Y'all send me some sponsors. Okay, anyways, so look. I got my wedding ring on today. And one of the things is, let me take you back. I love jewelry, like gold, jewelry. Oh, jewelry. Like, I love it. And I just feel my fingers are so empty without a ring, especially when you want to do a show. You want to have, like, jewelry on. And I cannot, because stuff's still unpacked. I have no idea where my other rings and stuff are. Only ring that I had close to me while I was moving was this one. And I love my wedding ring, guys. And when I wear it, it doesn't really make me think about, and <laughs> maybe that's a problem, too. It doesn't really make me think about, like, divorce sadness everything we built um all that stuff already is what i feel and what i'm thinking but that's not what i'm thinking in this sense lord like y'all i'm saying lord it's a bad accident right here y'all so excuse me but i mean in this sense so basically this is looky lose looky lose all over the road like, why are we slowing down so anyway y'all my point i'm saying to y'all is I love my ring. They ain't got nothing to do with him. Okay, so I'm gonna wear my ring. Shoot. I do look at it as like an investment of like of some sort. Shoot. I got my kids out of it. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful family. And I'm the one still with the beautiful family. He's the only one that has been out of the picture, you know, the missing piece to the puzzle. So I say all that to say, I just want y'all, if I y'all see me with my ring in my videos, <laughs> you know why? I ain't harping on nothing. I ain't looking for nothing to reconcile. I ain't looking for none of that. Okay, so I'm just in a place of like, I can wear my ring. It looks good. Anybody else going through this and understand what I'm saying? Comment down below. Let me know. Let me know. Like, if this is your life. And my, my line and slogan for the rest of the year is, this is my story. I tell it how I want to. Y'all feel me? I may put that on the show. I may put that in the book. I don't know. I better not catch nobody else doing my stuff. Wait a minute. You know, somebody done just changed up the vibe and it got too yeah. cute. I mean, we I just don't understand. Today. From a year ago, okay? Yes, hey, tell them where we at. Today. Where we at? We are taping Dirty Ooh. Tea. Ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah, and we are here to talk about Let's all say. kinds of stuff, y'all. Some more juice. Down. I want more down. Y'all got to follow her and her beautiful niece. We all, She also on our team. We all okay. should follow her, too. Y'all seen her on our pages, especially mm -hmm. Sienna's page. Oh, but anyway, beautiful. and look who else is in the building. Ooh. 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 <laughs> 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 Miss Nettie. Miss Nettie. Y'all, we are about to film um, another episode for her podcast, and I think this one is going to be Toxic In-Laws. Toxic like In-Laws. I love that title. I was so happy to come up with that yesterday, because yes. God, we got some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Check that dirty TV song out, y'all. They just now hearing it. And podcast.
So we are very lucky today to have Dr. Deanna here. She is a, an author, a psychologist, a life coach to celebrities, and she is a very, very dear friend of mine. So with that, I would love for you to spill your tea. Hello guys, thank you for having me. I'm so glad to be here on your podcast. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So again, guys, yes, I am Dr. Deanna, life coach to the stars. I also am a speaker, motivational author, uh, motivational speaker and author, and also um, a mom to three. Okay. Yeah, so I'm glad to be able to share my story here today with you guys in terms of what I've been going through in the season I'm in. Right. 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 Yeah, we are here for you. We're here for you. We're here for you. Thank you. Safe space. Yes. Thank you. Safe space. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. yes. And we love you. You yes. know that. Yes, yes. I need that in this time of what I'm going through right now, anyways. Yes. So basically, I'm in a place where, you know, I recently filed for a divorce and I am walking the journey now with my babies, who are also in the entertainment industry, and trying to navigate what that life is like after 19 years of being with my husband and wow. also walking through a, as a new mama in right. my 40s. Okay. Yes. That's, that's something to talk about. You're a new mama? Yes. I'm a new oh, mama. Wow. My baby is wow. now wow. six months old. Wow. So wow. amazing. Thank you. you do. Thank you. Even though, you know, some days you don't feel like it is, that, yes. that you feel good, but you know, you know that inside you are going to do this. Yes. You are going to share what you're going through so that it helps yes. others Absolutely. on their journey. Because there's so many people who don't understand what it's like to just kind of be in the process of going through a divorce mentally. Right. Yeah, and right. part of that comes from just the process of <laughs> adjusting to. It does. Yes. You know, for me, I feel like there is always signs in the beginning that you just don't notice. You're right. Okay. So right. when you're picking up someone that comes from a family who has always enabled them, Mm, and you're picking oh, up yeah, the pieces that to that. Mm -hmm. That starts off as a sign to let you know that people who are in this journey to get a new life, to be on this mm -hmm. path to marriage, family, things like that, you need yeah. to also understand that people who are behind that person yeah. can either be good or bad. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. What were red flags in the beginning that you had cops to them? Oh, mm. Let's talk about um, when yeah. you got a son who's being breastfed by their mama still. Ooh, okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah. 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 So at this point, yeah. 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 whatever it is that they feel, 
it needs to take a back seat to what's really important, and that's my children. Yeah. yeah. And True. until you can show me that you love me enough mm -hmm. or respect me enough, yeah, you cannot even think about spending time with my children. Is he fighting for you in regards to responding back to them saying, "Hey, don't yeah. treat my wife yeah. that way"? No, well, and that's right. why it's like her natural. Yeah, yeah. No, her natural. A part of having toxic in-laws is that they love the child, their child, their hug, their their mm -hmm. son, but they don't like the wife. And for me, you can't love your son and hate his wife. That's it right. just doesn't make sense. Right. You understand? Yeah. yeah. Well, Same well, calls. This sounds like some narcissistic stuff going on. Oh, and yeah, get this, since you brought that yes. up. My yeah. father yeah. called me narcissist. Oh, my okay. God. Oh, my so, God. <laughs> and, you, and, and you got a son that's out here that wants to take his kids. Are you kidding me? Are you oh, serious? Wow. Yeah. Really? <laughs> and so I say all of that to say also, when you, when you, want to spend time with my kids, you want to love on my kids, you have to understand that part of that is when you see them, you see me. Yes. Right. And you that's can't true. just get one or the other. You yeah. can't like love my kids and hate their mama. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's for anybody that's going through this beyond the journey because we're gonna be together regardless. So whoever he dates, you date, other people come in line. Our kids have a long term life Absolutely. relationship with us. That's 19, 19, 19, years. 19, 19 years together and wow. then on top of that we have still Another 20, 30, 40 right, years with right. our babies. Absolutely. You understand? Weddings, so, and, and graduation, graduations. graduations. Yep. And another thing is thinking that, you know, my, my husband has some kind of anger towards me mm -hmm. as if I was the one that caused this or mm -hmm. whatever it is. And it's not. So, for more of that information, you guys can follow me on my YouTube page. Oh, that's for the real tea. That's for the real tea. Follow my journey from a year ago to when I was pregnant to how I got here. So basically, I feel that we're at this point now where it has to be better um, communication. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, have yeah. to be on the same page. And until you can get past the anger that you feel, which is why the toxic in-laws is so important to understand, because yeah. they're the reasons why his head is where it's at, as right. if I wasn't the good woman that took care of you for the past 19 years. Mm, you right. That's, that's right. Give that's you some kind stuff. of respect. That's but the stuff. fact that you have yeah. toxic in-laws who are in your head and in your mind mm -hmm. and making you think, oh, she's this and she's that, Wow. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, somebody true. gotta look at you and say, "Are you serious?" Yeah. Yeah. The father calls you a narcissist. Yeah. What about the mom? Is she a little bit lighter, a little well, off? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> She's a bit off. Is, she a, is she a little softer in the hand? No. I mean, I think she's the one that stirs the pot the most. Oh, so she's oh, the one wow. that's Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, so wow. she's the real part. Yeah. So yeah. Wow. Like, yeah. Very yeah. Cool. I think the husband just don't know what that definition is. Yes, because right. I was like, are you kidding me? Yes, right, right. Like, yeah, you're yeah, saying this? Saying this? Saying exactly. It. Sometimes yeah. people just use, they just use terms, they hear terms. They don't know what they're talking about. And it's about. a popular term. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. True. It is. And I just feel like they're using whatever they can use to put toward, put against me. But listen, I'm taking care of my babies. I'm doing what I got to do. Yes. And when you do that, God takes care of you. You understand? I'm going to ask a tough question, though. Have you ever thought about litigation? In regards to the slander that they're doing, I was just thinking. You know, that. I do have a lawyer. I did. Yeah, um, I did speak to him about it. There's a few things that can be done. Okay. But I want to say this, and this was my quote coming here today, y'all. Mm. Do not spend your time talking about people who ain't talking about you in the house. Mm. Ah, that's so good. Good. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I gave yes. too much tea already because yeah. we shouldn't be spending time talking about people. That's, that's true. true. That's, that's true. true. That's true. But because of the topic and right. toxic in laws, we want yeah. to give them, them a little respect. Exactly. Yeah. Give them what it is. And yeah. I'm giving you guys the tea right. that's going on in my life right now. So yeah. when you're in the trenches with me right now, watch how I bloom. Watch mm. how I bloom. Yes. Watch yes. where we're going, you guys. Yes. What he has left, <laughs> it was a reason why. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. now we can be better than what we was. Yes. We're not worried about so much. That's so, it. You know, having this, and also it's a breathing space for me now yeah, to not have right. the cost to get yeah. lost because they mad, not me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're going to watch the glow up and wish that they hadn't said that I was Amen. a narcissist, that yeah. I was this or that. Right, right, right. right. But and you know, sometimes God removes things. You elevate. Yeah, the yeah. Vibration it's lonely at the top. Yes. Trust me, it's lonely at the top. And I'm not bitter at all. Like, mm -hmm. I have a right to be, trust me, guys, because mm -hmm. <laughs> what has happened has happened, but mm -hmm. I'm not bitter. Right. You right. know what I mean? I just want better. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. And I think that's the good. person that's for me is going to bring me better support right. me and know that when someone is talking about my life, mm. the mother of that's my right. kids, Amen. you have to protect that person. Yes. 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 Now, I have one thing to say. 
what does deserve some discussion is your beautiful baby girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. So my baby. And that's another thing. You know, when you have toxic in-laws that are so bad that they don't care about the well-being of your children, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they don't even deserve to be in your life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so my daughter is Siana Milani. You can find her at Siana Milani um, on all platforms. And then you can yes. go to my page as well and you can find her. But she was diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic at 3 years old. Mm -hmm. And that's been a journey. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And to be out of her life and to not know if she will wake up the next day, how she's doing, her well-being, that has to be crazy. So for any in-law that doesn't have a compassion for my children, don't need to be in their life. Because forget what me and Kim go through. Because these kids still need their support and their family. And if you show, showing that you don't want to be a part of that journey, what we got going on, yeah. then I'm okay with letting you go. Yeah. I don't care if you're a mother, father, yeah. grandmother, sister, auntie, uncle. If you are not a part of yes. the journey yes. and not respecting the mama, yes. you can keep it moving. Yes. Right. Yeah. And my baby has been through so much, y'all, so much. And this is National Diabetes Month as well. So, oh, yes. 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 so check out her platform as we... Um, release her documentary talking yes. about how she got to where she was. She's yes. a kid that is a celebrity kid as well, and mm -hmm. she's been on all platforms, but showing how you can still thrive after being diagnosed. Yes. Right. Yeah. And then yeah. we also yeah. have a podcast, which is Talking Toddlers and Type 1, um, with Type 1 Diabetes, so you can find us on all platforms. Oh, that's awesome. So, and you have a new product that you're launching. Oh, oh yes. Mm -hmm. So, you guys, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, let's spill that tea. Yeah. 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 So, guys, I created the first um, yeah. pocket underwear that is for all diabetics okay. that are wearing an insulin pump. And the insulin pump is going to be something that is prone to be on the body 24 seven to give someone insulin. So the pocket underwear allows people to share what it is that they're going through in privacy. So when you're diagnosed as a diabetic, my daughter had to get a pump and she had to wear something that looks like a fanny pack, which is a Spyro. Mm -hmm. At the time, which is currently still today, they don't have anything else on the market to accommodate that. So that means that you have to share with other people that, oh, I'm diabetic. And there's been times where people walk up and say, well, what's in your fanny pack? Mm -hmm. What do you have? Yeah. And my daughter's like, this wow. is my medicine. Yeah. This is right. my insulin. Right. This is what yeah. I need to live. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's like, exactly. Yeah. So people don't really understand that. And it was a journey getting us to that process and understanding what it's like to um, be given a diagnosis at just three years old. Yeah. And for me, I feel like my in-laws and my husband have been through that with us to understand that that's important to maintain that bond and that relationship yeah. for my baby. Yes. You understand? Yes. Yes. But in the hindsight yes. of everything, again, this is why you elevate and keep moving. This product is the first to ever be done to show people right. that you can share your diagnosis at your own discretion and wear your pump in the inside of your clothes instead of the outside of your clothes. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Right. I love that. Love that. Love Genius that. idea. Yes. That is so Absolutely. important. Absolutely. And I'm so proud of you. Yes. Yes. So yes. very proud of you. And I'm going to tell you this, is you're one of the strongest people I know. And I got emotional yes. during this episode. Mm -hmm. But you're one of the strongest people yes. I know. And I want to yes. thank you so much yes. for being here. Well, don't make me cry. Lord, don't make me cry one of these days. You know what I'm saying? My lashes are down. <laughs> <laughs> my lashes are down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what happens when you spill the tea. Yes. 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 It gets real. Yes. It does. I thank you. I thank you. Because you know, when I, when I first started through this, I had tapped in somehow you and I was talking. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we've yeah. been talking since. Yeah. We was talking before this, but it was like a break in between. Yeah, you know yeah, how you yeah, see yeah. that girl? Yeah. You go these breaks. Yeah. yeah. But during this time, she was there. Yes. You know what I mean? She helped me That's with some awesome. of the leader stuff. She helped me yes. understand yes. stuff. So I'm thinking for you, my village. Yes. 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 So many people yes. in there. Yes. Yes. And all yes. we're doing now is thriving, guys. We thrive. Yes. We're so excited yes. to be on this journey. Yes. yes. Even though we feel the void, yes. yes, God has been filling yes. us. Yes, and so, yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, we're he making will. a way. Yes. We're making a way. Yes, and making a way. This has been a great, great journey. Yes, and it's gonna get even better. Yes, yes. 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 I'm so thankful to step out of my comfort zone. Yes, because this is uncomfortable. Yes, yes. 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 Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. But to step out of my comfort zone to know that God got me. Mm. Yes. yes. Faith walk, faith walk. And we are going to be walk. okay. Yes. 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 So, yes. Yes. sorry, y'all didn't come here to cry today, but no, y'all got more than y'all bargained. We wanted this to be a safe space. Safe space. Yes, and I feel comfortable. I feel comfortable.
so I'm, I'm happy to be able to talk about this. It took me a long time to get yeah. to a place to even want to say something about it because sometimes you feel like what you're going through is your business yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and nobody else's mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. But how are you going to set the tone for others? And me who speak on many platforms yeah. and to other people, yeah. I can't hold this in yes. for so much longer yeah. without trying to help somebody else. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And I just sitting on this That's what this is about. And the same with my daughter's diagnosis. It took me a year to really get to a place to really want to. I mean, I think I was depressed for a long time. You know, got to a place where I just wanted to make some changes. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I got to speak up and create something that helps other mamas who are going through this, other people who who need to know that it's going to be okay on the other side, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I'm hoping to change many lives with The Pocket Underwear. Um, mm -hmm. And you guys can find that at thepocketunderwearcompany.com or donate tpuc.com as well. Awesome. But that's basically it. I'm so glad to have this opportunity to be here with you guys. We're so happy. Thank, yeah. thank, thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What's good, YouTube? I am back, and I'm actually closing this video out for you guys. So by now, you have seen all the footage from today's um, podcast interview. It was amazing. Um, I'm so happy that I was able to come up with that topic to help Lenita out because I needed to get so much off my chest today, guys, especially when it comes to toxic exes, okay? So today was really good. Check out Dirty Tees um, on every platform, mainly Instagram, and catch them. You know, watch out for what they're going to air on this episode. And um, they want me to come back. Of course, because you know your girl killed it. I brought the vibes in. They said it was a little dry and down before I came. But I brought the vibes in. You know, I do this. And I'm like, Lord, as long as I can do this. And this is at your will, Father God. <laughs> please make a way. Please make a way, God. Please make a way. So, I say all that to say this, y'all. Stay true to yourself, man. Stay true to yourself. No matter how hard it get, how rough it get, how broke you are. Stay true to yourself and know that what you're going through will come out on you will come out on the other side. And that you're not the only person going through it. Like I was so in my feelings about do I want to give anybody the platform to speak about them like that? Because I'm like, I'm not putting you on my platform so you can benefit that people start looking for you and figuring out who you are and then now they want to know your side of the story. This is not no, no. But as I told y'all earlier, my motto is, this is my story, and I tell it how I want. So that's where I'm going with it. And I feel like if you don't like my story, then that's, that's your problem. Because, you know, I'm telling it from the way it is on my side and what I see, my perspective. So I deserve to share it at my own leisure, okay? And how I want, right? How I want. Y'all, I'm sorry that it's dark in here. I was going to put the blue in. That little light works, but does it really need it? Still trying to do my hair and shit. I haven't even finished. But um, yeah, it was so good to see everybody there. Shout out to Lynette, Ladita, the new ladies that I met today. Just the whole vibe of it was amazing, guys. Of course, your girl walked in there like it was a storm. There is. So I miss doing this, and I cannot wait to get back to it. Like Lord, just bring me the opportunities. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've been hiding for too long, sitting on this for too long, and I'm just ready, y'all. I'm just ready. Anyways, that's it for this video, y'all. I'm going to give my baby some, um, some pizza, I guess. So I mean, we've been eating the same thing for a minute, for like four days straight. That's pretty good. So I think I'm going to do something to get them some. They've been so good. They haven't called me not once while I was gone, y'all. And then CJ said Chosen is like chilling. I said, that's all you need, son. You be thankful for the for the day that is chill. And they was like, can you come back tomorrow? Can you film tomorrow? We're going to be at the level. Can you film? 10 to 4, da 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 I'm like, man, I would love to do all of that. But I got to be, look, I pulled the day off, okay? Even with them not even going to daycare, I pulled the day off. So we got to be thankful for that. I can't promise I'm going to pull off another day. I'm trying to get in here, get my loft together, get the tree up ready for tomorrow. Get ready for this Thanksgiving week with my babies. Like, trust and believe. Like, I got so many people houses I can go to for Thanksgiving, but I'm cooking. I totally would love to go to Lenita's house, actually. But now that my girl back, I'm just like, oh, but we plan to do Friendsgiving at my house or her house. So that's what we do. But anyway, I'll holler at y'all later. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification um, bell so you won't miss another video that I post. Leave me some good comments, some good juju, some good vibes. Tell me what
what y'all think of this video what else y'all want to see on my platform i'm starting to like spit out videos that are like one new video one old video one new video one old video one new video one old video so it kind of make confuse y'all on the timeline but i wanted y'all to kind of follow me through my journey from a year ago to where i'm at now so i've been recording a whole bunch of footage for the past year um so when i found out i was pregnant when i shared it with the kids and just giving everybody's reaction on things about love relationships a whole bunch of stuff man i got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about that may spark some interest in some new titles today i want to hit up a few other titles like they not the divorce um man i got a whole bunch <laughs> to talk about anyway that's it y'all i'll see y'all in the next clip love y'all we out